safety Xavier Watson for a guest. Well, no questions whenever, whenever you guys are ready. Camera shot. Oh. All right, there we go. Good. Oh, okay. Are we good? You know, how's practice going, and what's the big difference from uh, the season in terms of practicing? What's the emphasis of practice right now? Uh, practice has been going well, you know, we've been uh, slowly getting back in, uh, starting like game prepping, getting ready for South Carolina, starting off more so just uh, fundamentals, getting back into the flow of things, but like I said, it's been going pretty well. Uh, like I said, it's a little bit different uh, from regular season because we're doing more uh, the basics at the end of the young guys uh, getting to it, but like I said, it's just a little bit less scouting, but we're we'll starting to get back into it some more. In terms of leadership, you lost some big people on defense when not playing the bowl game, but what does leadership look like and how does that help? Is it more of a challenge or an opportunity right now? Uh, I feel like uh, it's a little bit of both. Uh, like you said, uh, some guys are gone, you know, they're older and experienced. Uh, but some guys have to step up and try to do something that they've done before. So I feel like it's a good opportunity for a lot of people to show what they can do. Coach, you mentioned he was pushing communication with you. I guess has that been an adjustment for you? Or is that kind of uh, it's been a little bit of adjustment because, uh, you know, I'm more so quiet type of one. It's kind of like just going off the field and just uh, going to play so far. And like uh, Coach Golden has told me before, just sort of being a great safety. You have to uh, communicate with the team, kind of team with the quarterback. So he's been working on that. I mean, is there just a confidence piece to that too, like just knowing the right call and the right call? Yeah, definitely, yeah. As, as more practice has gone on, I'm uh, starting to communicate more, starting to get better with it. Get way more confidence speaking out to our teammates. And then what makes Mitchell and Holden just in tough matchups for a safety or linebacker? Uh, Mitch and Holden, you know, they're uh, pretty, uh, Holden's pretty fast or uh, tight end, and Mitch is like really good with his body, like their bigger body. So it's difficult because you like have to get low on them with, at the top of the route, so they like, can't really get uh, slipped up on the top. So. As far as uh, preparations, you guys got the most time to prepare for this team uh, than any other team since like, Ohio State. So how have you guys been getting up as far as uh, preparing for South Carolina as opposed to fixing you guys internally? Uh, like I said, like the first couple practices were just kind of more so focusing on ourselves, just uh, working, like I said, fundamentals, uh, technical type of stuff. But uh, even like you said, just like the internal piece, just trying to get back together as a team, just work on having fun with each other. And then like more so as we're getting closer to the game, we start uh, looking more towards South Carolina. A lot of growth out of some of the younger players in the second year, like BMO and Jaden. Can you just kind of speak to some of the what you've seen from them from the start of the season to the Yeah, they obviously gained a lot more confidence, obviously playing in the games. Uh, and though it starts in practice, they've been playing really well in practice, so it just like, translates over from practice. What does the, um, the versatility of the defense look like from your perspective now when you got guys kind of shifting around and guys leaving and things like that? Uh, I just think we have a lot of good football players. I mean, there's a lot of guys who can play in more positions. Just at the end of the day, you just go out there and do your job. You can showcase what you do. I mean, like you say, we have a lot of versatility in this defense. We have a lot of different calls, different packages. So I think a lot of guys can play in different positions. And how do you guys keep that intensity with this kind of space in between games? How do you keep that level of intensity on your side of the ball as you prepare for SEC opponent? Uh, like we just look at it like it's the last game, you know, give it all you can. I mean, uh, you don't want to leave anything behind, you don't want to regret anything. Like, uh, from eight, we're not going to play in a football game like from December 30th for another eight months. So, I mean, just leave it all out on the field and practice. How has the uh, preparation for the bowl game this year been different from obviously a lot of uh, things were in flux last year as you guys compared to yesterday? Uh, I really don't remember the Fiesta Bowl too much, but I mean, I think it's a little bit similar. I mean, like we started off just trying to just like have fun, just get back in the flow of things, like I said earlier, and then just as the game gets closer, just start translating it over. So. Yeah, one more. One more. Or no more. Good coach to play for and learn from. Uh, he's really like a chill type of coach, you know. He's not gonna like yell at you or scream at you. He's a really uh, sound type of guy, you know. He's really comfortable to be around and like he knows what he's doing. Like he's really good at breaking down film and stuff, like uh, teaching you specifics. So he does a good job with that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.